Today we are finally addressing the bathroom. Just kidding, it's the entryway. Bet you didn't know we needed that makeover. This is great, this is cute. But will there be things that will go wrong? It looks pretty cool. Whether it'll hold, I don't know. She feels good. Yeah, I feel very supported. Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls, and welcome back to Law Fives. This is a series where we redesign and make over our office space that we film out of, we DIY out of, and our whole team works and edits out of. Last week we made over our kitchen, we tiled an entire backsplash all on our own, which is something we've never done before, and we put up these so cute bar tables. This week we're going to be working on the front entranceway of our office, so Becky and I are just figuring out what we need for the space and jotting down some ideas. So this clothing rack we actually made for our old office and we brought it with us and although we love it dearly, I think it's time for something a little bit different and a little new. We can definitely salvage this one for parts. So this front entrance way we need a place to hang our coats, a place to put some snowy boots in the winter, unfortunately some storage for cleaning supplies, it's just a necessity, and maybe some lighting and obviously just make it way cuter. So we had this rug here temporarily, now this actually used to be in my bedroom in the loft which turned into the podcast studio at the loft. But we're just not sure if we love it here in this spot. Oh, no. No, roll you up in it. Okay, let me come in the door and see what feels right. Wow, cute office. Thanks for inviting me over. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, I'm not like. Oh, there's a big empty space here. Why did you not do anything? Yeah, no, I think, <laughs> Daniel, I think we could do a rug of some sort, yeah. not a square one, but I don't think it needs like an ottoman. Okay. Because okay. then it would feel squishy. Yeah, I think. I feel that. Although, it, like it might be nice to have somewhere to sit to put shoes on, so maybe we do make these, make these seats for the bull benches, okay. perhaps? I don't Let's know. just see this in the middle. Shit's creep this way. Something like that. <laughs> Do you have to walk? Every time I have to see it. As if it's an experience. It kind of feels like why did you leave this in the middle of the room? Maybe because there's nothing here yet. I think we like hold on to it. We might want to use it. I think the color's wrong, unfortunately. Although I can recover it. <laughs> I'm an expert at upholstering now. I recently learned how to reupholster a chair all on my own. You should check that video out, hire me. Cool. You got a plan? Yeah. Okay, I'll get to designing. <laughs> this is a good plan like this. This will work nicely here. Cool. I just want to Yeah, <laughs> Danny, thank you. Danny, you should let me love you and pet you and hug you, but like, don't lick my face. <laughs> I just want to hug you. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a couple different design ideas that would work for this front space, so I'm going to sketch them out so that we can talk through them. So a lot of you guys ask us how we make our floor plans when doing room makeovers. We actually do them on an iPad with the app Procreate, but we are entirely self-taught. But if you want to teach yourself something new, Skillshare is the best place to go for that. Which brings us to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people like us. There are thousands of classes where you can learn anything from illustration to productivity to film and video production. Skillshare empowers you to keep growing, learning, and staying inspired. I'm super excited about the class Digital Illustration, Learn to Use Procreate with Jerome Vogel. I learned a lot about adding shadow and texture to my Procreate creations from his class. What's awesome about Skillshare is that it's created specifically for you to learn, meaning there are never any ads and they're always launching new classes. And the best part about the membership is it's less than $10 a month USD with an annual subscription. And the first 1,000 people to sign up using the link in our description get a free trial of this Skillshare premium membership. So one of our first designs includes putting a Pax wardrobe or a cleaning closet in the middle and then doing two hangers on either side and then boot storage underneath. Pretty much all my designs have a corner shelf in the corner where the door is and a sconce above it because I just think that's perfect. But the rest of the layout, we can kind of tweak. On this design, I drew some vines because I just wanted to use the height of the space and I saw some vines 
on an old loft wall recently as inspo and I just wanted to throw it in there as an option. And all these designs have bike storage on the pillar because we want to encourage riding to the office. So next up, it's a very similar design, but I pushed the wardrobe towards the pillar so that we, when you walk in, you just kind of have this open hanging rack to your right. But the only problem with this is that the wardrobe or closet storage that we need is deeper than the pillar. And I just think that would look weird if it's like right up against the pillar, but then it's deeper than the pillar. So that's the reason why I'm thinking this isn't the strongest design. And lastly, this design has the wardrobe back in the center with a clothing rack for our coats on the one side between the pillar and the wardrobe. And the reason why I put the hooks on the other side is because I actually don't know how we're going to mount a clothing rail that, that doesn't have like two walls to go in between. So that's the solution for this space. And I also added a timbre effect on the bottom of the wall. Again, just another accent detail. So the next day I went out shopping, picking up this closet and a couple other things. So I'm at Lee Valley getting knobs for the closet and I'm also going to the fancy lumber store to get a bunch of wood for this feature wall. I guess I just gave away which design we're doing. I don't even know if it was a secret. It's a new day and I'm actually gonna be working from home today. I have a little tickle in my throat and I'd rather be safe than sorry, but I am doing my part. I'm online shopping and sending things to the office that we need to complete the makeover. So I have Allie here to help me out today. Okay, uh, you're my stand-in Kelsey today. Here I am. <laughs> Perfect, <laughs> put you to work. Um, don't love this black door. No, not the vibe for this office. <laughs> I know, I feel like it's just boxing it in and making it feel smaller. So would love to do that just in white, I think. Okay, I can do that. And then we have that really fun accent feature. I'm excited about plan. this. I never heard of it before, so. I know. <laughs> but we do have that massive wardrobe I picked up yesterday. Oh yeah. At Ikea. So I'd love to get that built, because then we know, because we don't have to do the wall behind it. So wherever that is, we can do the wall around it. So maybe I'll start building that if you want to get to painting the door. Sure. Okay. Bye, old office entryway. Bye. It was nice to know you. <laughs> <laughs> so as we do multiple room makeovers, we're slowly building up this mental list of things to remember for the next one. Some things on the list are always bring super glue because you literally never know when you need a last minute fix and no regrets, meaning always put that rug down first. Wow, so exciting, that's so exciting. Watch after all of this, the instructions are at the very bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Huge. I know. <laughs> it's like elevator sized huge. Yeah. Go in the elevator. Hello. Down to our secret lair. <laughs> I wish I could do some sort of like magic trick and oh all God, of a sudden, yeah. she's gone! <laughs> <laughs> Does this fit by the way? Oh. We picked up these for yes. boots in the winter. Oh yeah. Yeah. It fits perfectly. Yeah, it's good. So we're gonna do the faux timbre. I'm excited. So if you don't know, timbre is this wood slat treatment. It was in style like a couple decades ago. It's coming back in and having a moment. If you don't remember, we did our like hutch in our boardroom in this texture as well. It's my favorite thing right now. And instead of buying the actual timbre pieces because they were so expensive and shipping would be difficult, we thought let's DIY some more of it. So while I do that, do you want to put the doors on this? Yes. So then we can. It'll be a true elevator now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 
So to do this, I'm using three quarter inch by one quarter inch wood strips, and we're gonna lay them next to each other to make that timbre effect. The pieces I have are seven feet, but we want our wall to be about three and a half feet tall, so I'm cutting them all in half. So because we have an office that is entirely brick, it makes this a little more difficult. So I'm gonna be putting up these MDF sheets first, screwing those to the wall, and then that can act as a place to nail gun the timber strips to. If you're doing this at home with regular drywall, skip this step, it makes it much more difficult. You could just attach this directly to a wall and it'd be super simple. Scary. I know, it's so loud. <laughs> So it's the next day and I'm finally putting these wood strips on the wall, the most exciting part. To do this, it's just a little bit of wood glue followed by a nail gun, which I can nail gun them into that MDF sheet I put up earlier. And then to make sure everything's straight and even, I'm taking one of my strips and literally turning it on its side so it's a quarter inch and using that as like a spacer to go all the way along so I don't have to measure every time. Wow! Yay! Wow, 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 it looks so good. Yeah, totally. This looks so good. Wait, I need to see it from, yeah. from afar. Let's go back. Yeah. I love this it. This looks so good. Even the line like looks so good behind. Yeah. I almost think, what if we did it like around the door? Oh. That would hmm. be cool. Maybe I'll call Kelsey and show her how it looks because she hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> Get her yeah. reaction. Cool. Ask her if she feels cool if we do it on the door and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Cool. Good plan. Okay. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Good, do you wanna see how the wall's looking? It looks really good. Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it around. Okay. Wait. Oh, damn. Hold on, let me turn my phone. Oh, that looks good. Does it? Yeah. It looks really good here, I'll show you close up. So I was kind of thinking, like it looks so good, should yeah. we do the front of the pack so it blends in? Yeah, I think that makes sense. But I could do the sides too. Like I could come around and do the front doors. So it's like... Yeah, yeah. And then for that, I would probably just glue the strips right to the wardrobe. Is that cool? Yeah, go for it. Sweet. I'm excited. It's looking really good. Did you order did you anything order? online? Um, I ordered most of everything yesterday. So you should getting it? Have you received anything? I did. Um, I don't know, I don't know what they are. I'm excited to open and find out. And then we'll just, we'll figure out where everything goes from there. But yeah, I think it's coming together well. Looks good. I know that's a lot of work. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for doing it. It's okay. We've got Sarah, we've got Allie. It's, it's going well. Amazing. All okay. Right. Well, hopefully see you soon. All right. See you soon. Bye. I'm very relieved to know that she's liking how it looks because that was a lot of work. I'll be honest, easy, but a lot of work. But I am excited to open up those packages because I, I really don't know what she got for me. Interesting. A sconce that's gonna go somewhere there. <laughs> I don't know what any of this is. Oh, I think these are bike hooks. I think that was in her sketch was to do hooks. Somewhere. I don't know how we use these, but that's a later me problem. <laughs> Hangers. Sweet. More hangers. We better be having a party because we got so many hangers. But just kidding, I can't have parties. Parties are canceled. Okay. When I ordered this sconce online, I ordered it with the full intention of painting it matte black because chrome isn't the vibe. Becky's on my same wavelength. 
and this is gonna look a lot better. So today I've got Allie again, as well as Sarah, our brand new intern, helping us. I'm gonna let them do the timbre around the door since we already nailed down the technique. And I'm gonna finish up doing the benches that are going on either side. And then this will rest on the packs, hopefully. Cool. It looks pretty cool. Whether it'll hold, I don't know, but I feel good about it. I may have miscalculated when figuring out how much wood to get for the benches. I left Becky a little bit short, but she seems to be making do. All right, let's see if this actually works now. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh yeah, she feels good. Yeah, I feel very supported, emotionally and physically. This is great, this is cute. I, feel, I do feel like I'm in like the timeout bench a little bit, like go here and calm down, but I like it. It's good. Anyone need any screws? I got screws to go. That's how you feel about those screws. I seriously, these are the worst screws. I do not endorse these screws, okay? <laughs> it's just me and the homies getting it done, you know how it is. I need to do like a, like an a rap album friends. cover, like, you know, like. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Done. Next up, we are moving right along with the next DIY, which is that closet rail. Pretty easy to install. It's just going into the wall and the cupboard. I'm gonna say six feet seems about normal. So like 66 is here, which I think feels low. Oh yeah, that's And then like low. six feet is like basically here, which I think is pretty good. I feel like that's right. So the question is, can I get a hanger? How far out this needs to go? Mm -hmm. Oh, one. Yeah, you want some room for your jacket. Like from far away, does good. that look fine? Yes. No. It makes the wardrobe look smaller, which is good. Okay, good. Yeah. Go to your left, like a tiny bit. Yeah, that's it. Right there. <laughs> Okay. Yes! Do you have um, something I can put up to see if it works? I think I do, I got my oh. jean jacket here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, good height and everything. Oh! Wow! I love it. Freaking did that. This looks so good. This is giving me like Scandinavian hotel lobby vibes. Yeah, totally. And someone could still sit under that, even if there's still Yeah, that's on it. true, that's true. I mean, it's a little line it's a little the wardrobe, short. like in the... Um, Although this is the wardrobe, so... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> what am I, the lion of the witch? <laughs> you tell me. Yeah, this is great. I think we're done most of like the functional things. Oh, we still need hooks on that wall and the yeah. light's going there, but overall, getting very close. Yeah, good job, guys. <laughs> I'm back and feeling so much better, but since I am still recovering, I'm gonna mask up. Hello, welcome. Hi. <gasps> wow. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <gasps> they la whoa. Does it match your mood board? I think so. <laughs> oh, you painted that. Yeah, but they just stood out a lot, so we thought, let's just make, the door frame looked so good, not black. So yeah. We thought, good work. Thank you. Was it a lot? Yeah. <laughs> are these suitable? Yeah. They are? Yeah. Oh, I'm just, just got to the office. <laughs> Just gonna hang up my coat. Oh my God. It works, right? It works. Okay, look what I brought you. What is this? Door handle option. Oh, door handles. 
So when I was shopping for knobs, I texted Becky and I was like, beige or green? She voted team beige. I was already on team green. So I picked up both. You guys should let me know in the comments below which color you think we'll end up choosing. And then those pegs you ordered just got here this morning so that they can go here. Okay, cool. Cool, I think I've got a good game plan though for how we finish today. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Okay, game plan is put some pegs up for coats. Sconce that we painted going by the door. It's looking great, we love it. And some bike hooks to hang bikes to store them. Okay. Committing. <laughs> She's going there, Daniela. Oh yeah, super secure. Oh yeah? I feel good. Daniela, yeah. do you want to come test it since you have to use it? Yeah. Let's see how user friendly it is. Okay, that's the short one, right? Yeah, the Daniela height one. Remember the old office? I love every office has a Daniela height thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think you just lift it up and then I think this goes through the spokes. I can help you. I just want to know if it's possible to chew on here. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I am strong. Oh, yeah! Oh, nice. So I love how the timbre wall is turning out, but I did have a vision for this corner the entire time to do a nice little rounded shelf. So I'm going to be using some extra scrap wood from the bench, using a string and pencil to mark a rounded edge, and then a jigsaw to make this rounded shelf. While Kelsey is working on the shelf, I am painting over where Kelsey removed the old fire exit sign earlier in the day. Since we have a new light up proper legal one, we don't need this old one anymore. I didn't realize how many little holes and cracks were in these walls until you start looking at spaces close up, but they're easily fillable, so no worries there. I'm gonna fill them, paint them over, and it's like they were never there. So we have a smart office here at the Story Girls headquarters, but there was no way to turn on our smart lights when you walk in the door, so I'm installing a Google Nest Mini so you can easily turn on the lights when you walk in. Okay, back to the knobs. We are going for green, and then it's gonna match that bench, which we're actually keeping green as well instead of reupholstering. I think the green is nice. We have so many plants, so it should match well. Well, I can put that up, and then really, it's just making this whole place look cute. Final touch time. Yeah, I was gonna say there's not a lot, but actually there is. We put the coats up, we do the shoes, the bench. Yeah, we gotta pull it together. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. And break. I'm so happy with how this space turned out. I love our faux timbre effect, and I love that we went around the closet. I feel like it brings the space together so well. I'm so glad that we went with the timbre because this wall definitely needed a nice warm accent, but a part of me is like, should we paint this? It definitely either needs to be stained or sealed, definitely sealed, but before we do that, I'm like, is there an option to paint it? I don't know, let me know what you guys think below. We definitely have you know little tweaks and stuff to do throughout our entire space. So I'm excited for a full loft tour, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I really like how each space kind of has its own vibe in a way, although the whole office does work together. There's something unique and different in each individual space, which I think is, is pretty cool. If you haven't seen those other spaces around the office I'm talking about, we've made over like 
I can't even count so many different spaces and those episodes are already out so you can go watch those right now. And make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss any more Law Fives episodes or any other makeovers or DIY content that we uh, definitely have coming up for you soon. Every single week, we'll be here. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.